Welcome back to Z-Coins Today, we're diving into the incredible story of the 1996 D. Washington Quarter with the Denver Mint Mark, a coin that surprising collectors worldwide with its staggering value of up to $72,000. Yes, you heard that right. This quarter might be worth more than your car or even a down payment on a house. Before we talk about what makes this coin so valuable, let's cover the basics. The 1996 Washington Quarter was minted in both Philadelphia and Denver, as indicated by the tiny P or D mint mark on the coin's obverse, right next to George Washington's ponytail. Coins from the Denver Mint are marked with a D. Now, most 1996 D quarters are just worth their face value of 25 cents. But some rare variations and unique factors can send their value soaring to astronomical levels. What makes the 1996 D quarter so special? So, why is the 1996 D quarter getting all this hype? It all boils down to rarity, condition, and errors. Here's what you need to know. First, the Denver Mint produced over 900 million quarters in 1996. A staggering number, right? However, only a minuscule percentage of those coins have survived in perfect uncirculated condition. And that's where collectors come in, paying top dollar for pristine examples graded by professional organizations like PCGS or NGC. Second, errors or missed strikes make this coin even more exciting. Certain 1996 D quarters have known defects, such as double die errors, off center strikes, or planchet flaws, which significantly boost their value. We'll discuss these in detail next. Let's break down the most sought after types of 1996 D quarters. Quarters graded MS67, MS68, or higher are worth the most. To give you an idea, an MS68 grade 1996 D quarter sold at auction for a jaw dropping $72,000. Why? Because coins in this condition are nearly flawless and extremely rare. Double die errors. These occur when the coin's design is accidentally struck twice, creating a shadow-like effect dot off center strikes. Coins where the design isn't properly aligned with the edge of the coin are highly collectible. Planchet errors. A planchet is the blank piece of metal that becomes the coin. If it has cracks, laminations, or unusual shapes, it's a big deal to collectors. Unique toning or luster. Some coins develop a beautiful patina or rainbow-like toning over time due to exposure to air or chemicals. This can make them one of a kind and highly desirable to the right buyer. Now, let's talk about the current market. As of today, the record-breaking sale for a 1996 D quarter stands at $72,000, but even less than perfect coins can fetch impressive sums. Coins graded MS65 or MS66, while not as rare as MS68, still sell for hundreds or even thousands of dollars. On online marketplaces like eBay, you'll find lower grade error coins selling between $50 and $500. Remember, the coin market fluctuates based on demand, collector interest, and the overall economy, so prices can vary. How to check if your 1996 D quarter is valuable here's how you can check your 1996 D quarter for value. Make sure it's a D mint mark. Without it, you're looking at a coin from the Philadelphia Mint, which isn't as valuable. Look for scratches, dents, or discoloration. The fewer flaws, the better. A perfect, shiny coin could mean big bucks. Use a magnifying glass to check for doubling, mistrikes, or unusual features. If you think your coin is special, send it to a professional grading service like PCGS or NGC. They'll assign it a grade and that could make or break its auction value. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just getting started, here are some pro tips. Invest in proper storage. Coins can lose value if they're exposed to moisture or rough handling. Use coin sleeves, albums, or airtight cases to keep them safe. Stay informed. Follow auction results and online communities to stay updated on market trends. Don't clean your coins. Cleaning can damage the surface 
and reduce the value dramatically. Let professionals handle restoration if necessary. Who would have thought a quarter from your pocket could be worth $72,000? The 1996 D. Washington Quarter is proof that the world of coin collecting is full of surprises. So check your loose change, inspect those coin jars, and you might just find a hidden gem waiting to change your life. We're diving into one of the most fascinating treasures in modern U.S. coinage, the 2014 D. Mint Mark Quarter Dollar Coin. Yes, folks, you heard that right. Some of these coins, minted just a decade ago, are now worth a jaw-dropping $42,000 in the collector's market. So grab your pocket change and let's take a closer look, because this could be your lucky day. All right, before we get into the mind-blowing value of the 2014 D quarter, let's take a quick history lesson. The D mint mark signifies that these coins were struck at the Denver Mint, one of the most prominent facilities of the United States Mint. In 2014, the U.S. Mint released quarters as part of the America, the Beautiful series, honoring Great Smoky Mountains National Park in Tennessee. On the obverse, or front, you'll find the familiar portrait of George Washington. But flip it over, and you're treated to a breathtaking depiction of a rustic cabin surrounded by nature, symbolizing the beauty of the Smoky Mountains. A stunning design, no doubt, but what makes this quarter worth thousands of dollars? There are three major factors that determine why certain 2014 D quarters are fetching such big bucks today, rarity, condition, and errors. Let's break them down one by one. First, let's talk about rarity. While millions of these quarters were produced, only a tiny fraction have retained their original luster and quality. That's where condition comes in. Grading services like PCGS or NGC use a scale called the Sheldon Scale to rate coins. Coins graded MS67 or higher are considered in near-perfect condition and are incredibly desirable to collectors. But here's the kicker. Coins with specific errors are the true showstoppers. Error coins happen when something goes wrong during the minting process. For example, a double die error where the design appears to be duplicated or a missing detail, can make a 2014 D quarter astronomically valuable. So let's say you have a 2014 D quarter in pristine condition with a noticeable error. That's where the $42,000 figure comes in. At a major auction in 2024, a rare 2014 D quarter featuring a dramatic die clash error sold for this massive sum. It was graded MS 68, making it one of the finest known examples in existence. The demand for rare error coins has skyrocketed in recent years. Collectors are willing to pay top dollar for unique pieces that tell a story. That's why it's so important to keep an eye out for any anomalies in your coins. Even small imperfections can mean big money. All right, here's how to see if your 2014 D quarter could be worth a fortune. Check the mint mark. Look for the small D on the obverse side of the coin, next to Washington's ponytail. Inspect for errors. Use a magnifying glass to spot doubled letters, off-center strikes, or other abnormalities. Assess the condition. Is the coin shiny and free from scratches? If so, you might be in luck. Get it graded. If you think you've struck gold, send your coin to a professional grading service for certification. You never know where a valuable coin might be hiding. It could be in a jar of spare change, under your couch cushions, or even in your wallet right now. Every collector's dream is to stumble upon a rare gem, and with the 2014 D quarter, that dream could become a reality. So what are you waiting for? Start checking your coins today. Who knows, that humble quarter in your pocket could be worth $42,000 tomorrow. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like. We're talking about a coin that has stunned collectors and numismatists alike. The 2060-1867 mint mark quarter dollar coin. Yes, you heard it right. This seemingly ordinary quarter is worth an incredible $52,000 on today's market. 
Stick around to find out why it's so valuable, how to spot one, and whether you might already have this treasure hiding in your coin jar. First, let's break down what makes this coin so special. The 2060 Washington Quarter is part of the State Quarter Series, and the D-Mint mark tells us it was minted at the Denver Mint. But what about that 1867? That's where things get really interesting. The 1867 marking isn't supposed to be on this coin at all. This happened due to a minting error that left an overdate or a secondary inscription from an older die used in the minting process. Errors like these are extremely rare and are what we call numismatic anomalies. Collectors are always on the hunt for these, and this particular anomaly has turned the 2060 quarter into a high-value collector's item. How did this happen? Well, in 2006, the Denver Mint was producing millions of quarters as part of the U.S. Mint State Quarters Program. Somehow, an old die from 1867, possibly one that had been repurposed or mislabeled, made its way into the production line. This error left an imprint of the year 1867 alongside the 2006 date, creating a unique and highly collectible coin. This kind of error is unheard of in modern minting, which is why it's such a big deal. The U.S. Mint has strict quality controls, but sometimes mistakes slip through the cracks, and when they do, collectors are willing to pay big money for them. The most recent sale of a verified 2060-1867 mint mark quarter fetched an astounding $52,000 at auction. Why so much? It's a combination of rarity, demand, and the historical significance of the error. Not every coin will fetch that price, though. The value depends on factors like its condition, grading, and whether it has been professionally authenticated. Coins in mint state that is, coins that look like they just came off the press, can sell for tens of thousands of dollars. Even lower grade examples are worth thousands. Now, let's talk about how you can identify one of these coins. First, look for the D-Mint mark on the obverse side, just under the year 2006. Next, examine the coin carefully for any additional markings or unusual features especially the 1867 imprint. You might need a magnifying glass or a coin loop to spot it clearly. Pro tip, lighting is key. Hold the coin at different angles to see if you can spot the error under a bright light. If you think you've found one, your next step is to get it authenticated. Authentication is crucial. If you believe you have a 2060-1867 mint mark quarter, Send it to a reputable coin grading service like PCGS or NGC. These organizations will verify the coin's authenticity and assign it a grade based on its condition, which plays a major role in determining its value. And remember, even if the coin turns out not to be the $52,000 jackpot, it could still be worth hundreds or even thousands depending on its rarity and condition. Mint errors like the 2060-1867 quarter are fascinating because they're a tangible reminder that even the most precise systems can make mistakes. These coins often tell a story about the minting process and the history behind them. That's why collectors are willing to pay so much for them. Plus, owning a rare error coin is like holding a piece of history. It's something unique that not many people will ever have the chance to own. If you're just getting started with coin collecting, here are a few tips. Always check your change. You never know when a rare coin might show up in your pocket or wallet. Invest in tools. A magnifying glass, a good light source, and a reference guide can make spotting valuable coins much easier. Learn the market. Follow auctions and online marketplaces to see what coins are selling for and what's in demand. Stay informed. Errors like this don't come around often. But when they do, knowledge is your best asset. That's it for today's video. Who knew that a simple quarter could be worth $52,000? If you've enjoyed learning about the 2060-1867 mint mark quarter, don't forget to hit that like button. Video, 
we're diving into the story of the 2015 D-Mint Mark Quarter, which is causing a buzz in the coin collecting world. This little coin has a current market value of up to $32,000. Could you have one of these treasures sitting in your pocket right now? Stick around to find out. First, let's talk about what the 2015 D-Mint Mark Quarter is. This coin is part of the America, the beautiful series, celebrating national parks and landmarks. The specific one that's catching attention is the 2015 D Blue Ridge Parkway Quarter, minted in Denver, hence the D Mint Mark. It features the iconic Blue Ridge Parkway, with a beautiful winding road and tunnel on the reverse side. On the obverse side, you have the familiar image of George Washington, a staple of the quarter design. But what makes this particular quarter so special? The 2015 D Blue Ridge Parkway Quarter's extraordinary value comes down to a few key factors, rarity, condition, and demand. Certain error coins from the 2015 Denver Mint are incredibly rare. These errors, such as double dies, die breaks, or misstrikes, make them highly sought after by collectors. Some coins may even have a unique minting flaw that makes them one of a kind. Coins graded by professional services like PCGS or NGC in perfect mint state, MS67 or higher, are worth significantly more. Pristine coins with no visible scratches, wear, or damage can fetch top dollar. As the America, the beautiful series gains popularity among collectors. Certain coins, like the 2015 D Blue Ridge Parkway Quarter, have become hot commodities. Limited supply plus high demand equals skyrocketing prices. Let's talk numbers. Recently, a 2015 D Blue Ridge Parkway quarter in near perfect condition sold for an astonishing $32,000 at auction. This was a rare, high grade example with an MS68 rating and an error that made it truly unique. Even coins without errors but in excellent condition can sell for thousands. Coins graded at MS65 or MS66 have sold for $1,000 to $5,000. It's incredible to think how much value a small piece of change can hold. So how do you know if your 2015 D quarter is worth big money? Here's what to look for. Make sure your coin has the D mint mark, indicating it was minted in Denver. Look closely for any signs of doubling on the lettering or numbers, die cracks, or other minting mistakes. A magnifying glass or loop can help spot these details. The cleaner and sharper your coin looks, the better. Coins without scratches, discoloration, or wear are far more valuable. If you think your coin might be special, send it to a professional grading service like PCGS or NGC. They can certify its condition and rarity, increasing its market value. Now that you know what to look for, here's how you can find these valuable quarters. Always examine your pocket change, especially quarters from 2015. You never know what might turn up. Request rolls of quarters from your bank and search through them. It's like a treasure hunt that could pay off big time. Coin shows, flea markets, and online auctions are great places to find rare coins. Keep an eye out for 2015 D quarters in high grades or with errors. Joining online forums or local coin clubs can connect you with other enthusiasts and keep you informed about the latest trends. As of now, the top tier 2015 D Blue Ridge Parkway quarters are valued at $32,000, but prices vary depending on condition and rarity. With the coin collecting market growing, the value of these coins could increase even more in the coming years. This makes them not only a fascinating hobby, but also a potential investment opportunity. The 2015 D Blue Ridge Parkway Quarter is a perfect example of how everyday items can hold hidden treasures. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting, always check your coins carefully. You might be holding a $32,000 masterpiece in your hands. We're diving into an incredible story about a rare 2001 P1792 mint mark quarter dollar coin that could be hiding in plain sight. Yes, you heard that right. 
This coin, worth just 25 cents at face value, has been selling for an eye-popping $62,000 in the collector's market. Stick around to find out what makes this coin so valuable, how to identify it, and why collectors are going wild over it. First, let's get to know the coin a little better. The 2001 P quarter is part of the state quarters program launched by the U.S. Mint in 1999. Each year, the program issued quarters honoring five different states, and in 2001, the spotlight was on New York, North Carolina, Rhode Island, Vermont, and Kentucky. But what sets this particular 2001 P coin apart is the extremely rare 1792 mint mark error. Normally, coins from the Philadelphia Mint are marked with a P. However, this batch carries an engraving error referencing the founding year of the U.S. Mint, 1792, making it a once-in-a-lifetime find. Imagine the shock when collectors started discovering these rare coins. They were like golden tickets in the world of numismatics, unexpected and extraordinarily valuable. Now, you might be asking, what makes this coin worth $62,000? Well, several factors contribute to its jaw-dropping value. It's believed that only a handful of these error coins were ever minted before the mistake was caught. Scarcity like this drives up demand among serious collectors. Coins in pristine condition, those graded MS65 or higher by professional grading companies like PCGS or NGC, are especially valuable. The fewer scratches and blemishes, the higher the price. The 1792 mint mark is not just a mistake. It's a callback to a monumental year in American history when the U.S. Mint was founded. That historical tie makes it incredibly appealing to both coin enthusiasts and history buffs. Right now, the numismatic market is hot. Collectors are willing to pay top dollar for unique coins like this one. In fact, one of these coins recently fetched a whopping $62,000 at an auction. And who knows? The next one could sell for even more as demand continues to grow. So how can you tell if you've got one of these rare coins? Here's a quick checklist to help you identify the 2001 P1792 mint mark quarter. Flip the coin to its obverse, the side with George Washington. Look carefully under the year 2001. Instead of a regular P mint mark, you'll see the engraving 1792. A magnifying glass can help if it's hard to spot. This error has been found on several state designs from the 2001 series. Pay extra attention to quarters from North Carolina and New York, as these seem to be the most common coins linked to the error. If you think you've found one, send it to a professional coin grading service for authentication. Grading not only verifies the coin's authenticity, but can also significantly increase its value. Now that you know what to look for, the big question is, where can you find one of these rare coins? Here are some tips. Start by checking your everyday change. You'd be surprised how often valuable coins slip into circulation unnoticed. Head to your local bank and ask for rolls of quarters. Sorting through these rolls can be a fun treasure hunt. Sometimes, rare coins end up in collections sold at garage sales or flea markets. Keep an eye out, you might just strike gold. Sites like eBay can be a good place to look, but be cautious. Make sure the seller has good reviews and provides clear photos of the coin, especially the mint mark. Okay, let's say you've struck it rich and found a 2001 P1792 quarter. How do you sell it for maximum value? A professionally graded coin will fetch a much higher price. Services like PCGS or NGC are your best bet. For high value coins, consider selling through an auction house like Heritage Auctions or Stax Bowers. These platforms attract serious collectors willing to pay top dollar. Don't rush to sell. Do your research to understand its market value and don't hesitate to negotiate for the best deal. And there you have it, folks. The 2001 P1792 Mint Mark Quarter is a fascinating piece of numismatic history, 
and potentially a life-changing discovery. Who knew a small mistake could turn a simple quarter into a $62,000 treasure? So, grab your magnifying glass and start hunting. We're diving deep into the fascinating world of the 2016 Guy Mint Mark Quarter Dollar. Did you know that some of these coins are turning heads in the collector's market with jaw-dropping values of up to $22,000? Yes, you heard that right. What might look like an ordinary quarter could actually be a jackpot. So grab your coin jars, and let's find out what makes this 2016 D quarter so special. First, let's start with some background. The 2016 D Washington quarter is part of the America, the beautiful series, commemorating various national parks and historic sites across the United States. The D mint mark indicates that it was minted at the Denver Mint, one of the primary mints in the U.S., alongside Philadelphia, San Francisco, and West Point. Now, this particular year and mint combination includes a variety of quarters representing different locations. The ones that collectors are raving about include designs like, but not all 2016 D quarters are worth a fortune. So what makes some of them so valuable? Let's get into that now. Before we talk about the big money, let's quickly cover the factors that drive up a coin's value. Coins with errors or low mintages are often extremely rare, making them highly sought after by collectors. Some of the 2016 D quarters have unique mint errors. These could include double dies, off-center strikes, or even unusual finishes. Coins graded as MS, Mint State, 68, 69, or even the elusive 70 by professional grading services like PCGS or NGC are exceptionally valuable. The better the condition, the higher the price. Coins from popular series like America the Beautiful already have a strong following among collectors, further boosting their desirability. Now, let's take a closer look at what's driving the insane $22,000 price tag for certain 2016 D quarters. So, how did the value of some 2016 D quarters skyrocket to a whopping $22,000? Here are the key reasons. A few 2016 D quarters have been found with significant errors, such as double die errors, where part of the design appears doubled due to a mistake during the die making process. Off center strikes, where the design isn't properly aligned on the coin, clipped planchets, where part of the coin appears clipped or missing. These errors make the coin incredibly unique and valuable. Coins graded MS68 or higher are exceedingly rare. Most coins from circulation won't even come close to this level of perfection, but those that do are worth a premium. For instance, a 2016 D quarter graded MS68 recently sold at auction $4.22,000. Even though millions of 2016 D quarters were minted, only a handful have been found in flawless condition. This makes them extremely scarce and valuable. All right, so you're probably itching to check your own collection now, right? Let me help you identify if your 2016 D quarter might be worth big bucks. Use a magnifying glass to look closely at the coin's details. Are there any signs of doubling in the lettering or images? Check the edges of the coin for unusual patterns or missing pieces. If your coin looks nearly flawless, it's worth considering professional grading. Avoid cleaning the coin, as this can significantly lower its value. Sharp details, a pristine finish, and no visible scratches are good indicators of a high-grade coin. If you think you've got something special, send it to a grading service like PCGS or NGC for authentication and grading. Now, Let's talk about the current market value of the 2016 D quarters. While most of these coins are worth face value, just 25 cents, certain mint error or high grade coins are fetching incredible prices. A typical MS65 grade 2016 D quarter can sell for around $10-$20. Coins graded MS68 or higher with errors can soar to thousands or tens of thousands of dollars. For example, one of the highest prices ever recorded for this coin was an auction sale of $22,000 for a pristine MS68 grade quarter with unique features. So, 
the market for these coins is very much alive and competitive. Found something promising? Here's how to turn your discovery into cash. Send your coin to a professional grading service. A high grade can drastically increase its value. Online platforms like eBay and Heritage Auctions are great places to sell rare coins. Consider local coin shops or coin shows where you can connect with collectors directly. Promote the rarity. If your coin has an error or is in exceptional condition, make sure to highlight these features in your listing. Who knew that a simple 2016 D quarter could be worth so much? Remember, it's not just about luck. It's about knowing what to look for. So, get out there and check your coins. You never know when you might strike it rich. What if I told you that a simple 1970 quarter, yes, a regular Washington quarter, could be worth up to $82,000 today? Sounds unbelievable, right? Well. Stick around because today we're diving deep into the fascinating story of the 1970 Washington Quarter and why this unassuming coin is turning heads in the collector's market. The Washington Quarter was first introduced in 1932 and has been a staple of U.S. currency ever since. But not all quarters are created equal. In the numismatic world, that's the fancy term for coin collecting. Certain coins can become incredibly valuable because of errors, minting quirks, or unique histories. And that's exactly what happened with the 1970 Washington Quarter. 1. The history of the 1970 quarter let set the stage. In 1970, the U.S. Mint produced millions of Washington quarters across three facilities. Philadelphia, Nomad Mark, Denver, Mark D., and San Francisco, marked s at first glance the quarters from that year seemed perfectly ordinary but as time went on collectors began to notice something special about a select few 1970 quarters so what makes the 1970 quarter worth a jaw-dropping eighty-two thousand dollars it's all about an incredibly rare error found in quarters minted in san francisco most quarters from 1970 are worth their face value just 25 cents. However, a small number of 1970s proof quarters were struck on an older Canadian coin planchet. A planchet is the blank piece of metal that coins are struck on. These coins were accidentally minted using planchets from a different country. Crazy, right? Because of this error, these quarters have distinctive characteristics. For example, the texture, weight, and even some faint remnants of the original design can be seen under magnification. These subtle but unique features make this coin incredibly rare and highly sought after by collectors. In 2016, one of these rare error quarters made headlines when it sold at auction for a whopping $82,000. The coin was authenticated and graded by a reputable numismatic organization, which confirmed its unique error and pristine condition. This sale sent shockwaves through the coin collecting community. Why $82,000, though? Well, rarity drives value in the numismatic world. The fact that so few of these era quarters exist, and their fascinating backstory, means collectors are willing to pay a premium. If you happen to find one in excellent condition, it could easily fetch similar figures at auction. Now, here's where it gets exciting. How can you tell if you have one of these rare 1970s quarters in your collection? Here are a few key things to look for. Mint mark. Check for the S mint mark below the date. This indicates it was struck at the San Francisco Mint. Proof quality. These rare quarters are proof coins, meaning they were originally made for collectors and have a shiny, mirror-like finish. Error details. Look closely at the coin's surface and edge. Under magnification, you might see traces of the foreign coin design or other irregularities. Weight check. An error coin might weigh slightly different than a standard U.S. quarter, so a precise coin scale can help you verify. If you suspect you have one of these rare quarters, don't clean it or alter it in any way. Instead, have it authenticated and graded by a trusted coin certification service like PeaceGS or NGC. Now, 
Even if you don't have the legendary $82,000 error coin, other 1970 quarters can still hold value for collectors. For example, regular 1970 quarters in pristine, uncirculated condition can be worth $5 to $10.1970s proof quarters without errors can fetch $15 to $20 dot and quarters with small die errors or unique characteristics might sell for $50 to $500 depending on the condition. This incredible story of the 1970 quarter reminds us of one important lesson. Always check your change. Coins are more than just currency. They're tiny pieces of history, and sometimes they can be worth a fortune. Who knows? You might have a hidden treasure waiting for you in your collection. Today, we're uncovering the secrets behind one of the most talked about coins in numismatics, the 1969 D. Washington quarter dollar with a Denver mint mark. And guess what? Some of these coins have fetched a jaw-dropping $92,000 at auction. Yes, you heard that right, $92,000 for a single quarter. Stick around, because we're going to explore why this coin is so valuable, what to look for, and how to spot one in your collection that could make you a small fortune. Let's start with some quick history. The Washington Quarter was introduced back in 1932 to celebrate the 200th birthday of George Washington. Designed by John Flanagan, it became an instant classic and is still one of the most recognizable coins in the U.S. Today, we're focusing on the 1969D quarter minted in Denver. Point 1969 was a fascinating year for U.S. coins. The U.S. mint was still adjusting after the transition away from silver in 1965. Quarters struck in 1969 were made of a copper nickel composition, and like all coins, were subject to rigorous quality control, or so we thought. Despite this, a small number of quarters with remarkable errors or unique qualities have managed to surface, making them extremely valuable. So what makes the 1969 D quarter so special? Well, there are a few key reasons. First, we have the condition or grade of the coin. Coins graded as MS67 or higher are incredibly rare for this year and mint mark. Out of millions of quarters minted in Denver that year, only a tiny handful are found in near-perfect condition. Next, there are potential errors and unique features. Some 1969D quarters have striking irregularities, including double die obverse DDO errors. Doubling appears on inscriptions like in God We Trust, Liberty, and even Washington's profile. These double die coins are highly sought after by collectors, driving their value sky high. Lastly, there's the element of rarity. Coins with a Denver Mint mark are already less common than those from the Philadelphia Mint for this year. Combine that with unique minting errors or an exceptional grade, and you've got yourself a coin that collectors will pay top dollar for. Okay, so now that you know why these coins are so valuable, let's talk about how to identify one. If you have a 1969 D quarter, here's what you should look for. Look for the small D mint mark on the coin, located on the reverse side, just below the eagle's tail feathers. This tells you it was minted in Denver. Examine the coin under a magnifying glass or microscope. If you see doubling on the letters in Liberty or in God We Trust, you could be holding a treasure. Check the coin's overall condition. Coins graded as MS65, MS66, or higher, mint state by professional grading services like PSGS or NGC are worth much more. If your coin is free of major scratches or wear and tear, it's worth getting it graded. Use a precision scale to ensure the coin has the correct weight, around 5.67 grams. If the weight seems off, it might even be an error coin with a unique planchet. Let's talk about the big money. In recent years, 1969D quarters have sold for incredible amounts at auctions. The highest recorded sale of a 1969D quarter was a staggering $92,000 for a coin graded MS67 by PCGS. That's
That's because only a handful of coins from this year in mint have ever been graded this high, making it a true collector's dream. Even coins in slightly lower grades can fetch thousands. For example, MS66 coins can sell for anywhere between $4,000 to $12,000, depending on market demand and the specific characteristics of the coin. So, don't overlook those 1969 quarters in your collection. They might just surprise you. Alright, so what if you find one of these valuable quarters? Here's what you should do. Send your coin to a reputable grading service like PCGS or NGC. This will ensure its authenticity and establish its value. Check recent auction results for similar coins. Websites like Heritage Auctions and Stacks Bowers are great resources. High value coins are best sold through professional auction houses or well known coin dealers. For less valuable examples, you could consider platforms like eBay, but always be cautious of scammers. Handle your coin carefully, preferably with gloves and store it in a protective case to prevent damage. So there you have it, the story of the 1969 D. Washington quarter that could be worth up to $92,000. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just someone curious about coins, it's always worth checking your change. Who knows? You might have a rare treasure sitting right in your pocket. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to your channel name for more content like this. And if you've got a rare coin story, drop it in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.